In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly create gears and then export those gears and import them into um, Onshape. And um, although these aren't quite meshed right together, we can then animate them so that the gears have a relationship to each other. And obviously, you can add multiple different gears and different sizes. So what you're going to go on to is this website, uh, which is up there and I'll put that within the description of the video. On here there's a few different things you can do. You can have one or two gears um, like so and then you click update and you can export two gears. I would recommend exporting one gear at a time um, but you can build two sets of gears. Now there's lots of different information in here and you can see it's gear one and gear two and you can have different amounts of teeth and you've got to think about the relationship to them. The things that I would focus on at the moment is whether you want a hole in the center and then the diameter of that hole in millimeters, the gear center distance between the shafts and the centers. I wouldn't worry about too much but the gear pitch you could change and then the outer diameter so you can see that's between here and between here so if you want a much bigger gear then you can have a much bigger diameter if you prefer now you can have two gears as I said once you've done that and you're happy with the gear you've created you can download the DXF So it's downloaded the DXF. You can then go into Onshape, and let me just quickly get rid of these, and then go into here to keep things simple. And you can click Import, and you've got to select what you've just downloaded. So there we go. It uploads it, and you'll see that here. Now that looks a bit complicated at the moment, so we're not going to worry too much about that. What we're going to do is create a sketch and in that sketch we're going to create, well, no, sorry, a part studio and then a sketch and you'll see a little import DXF and here I've obviously imported them before but you'll see the file. It will then create that for you based on what you entered in that gear creator. You can then extrude that. Only wants a small amount. And then you've got a gear. Now what you could see with my one here is I also created a base and I set the distance between these two here as the diameter just go up the diameter of the inner um, sort of pitch circle diameter so they were they're 15 apart so if I quickly show you because that was my previous um, version uh, sorry wrong sketch they're 15 apart I then insert them into an assembly uh, so let's just delete all this and I'll do this again quickly so I've got my two gears there Let's move them off. I'm going to do a revolute mate. I'm going to take the bottom of that and there to stick it down. And then I'm going to do another revolute mate and the bottom of that to there. And as long as you've got your distance right, you'll see that these two mesh up. Now I've got to do a little bit of work to. Uh, get this um, sorted but I'm going to get a gear relation and I'm going to take one part uh, which I'm going to select the revolute here and then I'm going to take that one which is that one and you'll see at the moment it aligns them which is a little bit annoying so I've got to work out why it does that but what this will now do is these two will spin together so once I've worked out why they mesh together like this, you can then take gears that are all in relation to each other. 